Hey, welcome people and thank you very much for joining me on this video. In this video, I'm going to be covering ISTQB foundation answers to questions. And this is part one in this series. You can actually download the full answers to questions PDF document at the website talentedtester.com. The idea is that I'm going to walk you through a selection of questions that are covered in the downloadable PDF and walk through why they are correct and why the others are incorrect. So to begin with, we're gonna look at this question three, which is taken from sample paper number two. What is the V model? Is it A, a type of test automation that supersedes the Z model? B, a unit testing technique used by developers to test a software function? C, a type of test harness that allows the tester to inject test data for a difficult test case. Or D, a software testing model that demonstrates how software testing integrates with development. So I'll just give you a couple of seconds just to think about what you believe to be the right answer. Hopefully you'll get it right. And even if you don't, not a problem. At least you'll learn something from this and then we can walk through why it's correct. The correct answer is actually D, a software testing model that demonstrates how software testing integrates with development. So if we look at this diagram that I've got here, it explains or demonstrates how this is a model that demonstrates how software testing integrates with development. So we can see on the left hand side, we've got detailed design, um, from requirements and architecture and on the right hand side we can see here system verification which is typically system testing and low level testing on the right hand side and we can see how they actually mesh together. Uh, the V model is one of the um, earlier models which is something that I've used quite extensively in my career over the years. Uh, nowadays a lot of people tend to go with the agile method because it's something that is quick to implement and there's not a lot of documentation involved. But from my experiences, V model has always been a very solid um, software testing model that you can always rely on. Obviously, it's not 100% perfect. I don't believe a 100% perfect model exists, but this is definitely a solid one. Uh, but it just takes a little bit more red tape to get correct, and you have to have the buy-in from all the stakeholders. So let's move on to the next question. Question 13, what does the acronym PDCA stand for? So is it A, plan, design, check and act? B, plan, do, check and act? Plan, do, correct and act? Or is it D, plan, direct, check and access? I'll give you a couple of minutes just to think what is the correct answer to this? Just to give you some context, in the foundation exam, you will get similar questions like this, which will try and trip you up by making the answers look very similar with maybe one very small change. The idea is just to take your time, think back to what you've been studying and remember if you can get the correct answer. So let's, um, without, further, without further delay, excuse me, let's look at what the correct answer is. So the correct answer is B, which is plan, do, check, and act. The best way really is just to commit this one to memory, but it's an example of how some of the questions can try and trip you up. Let's move on to the next one. Question 14, unit testing is also known as one, component testing, two, white box testing, three, module testing, four, program testing. So let's, which one do you think is the correct answer? Unit testing is also known as. I'll give you a couple of seconds, just have a think. Okay, so I can reveal A is the first potential answer. And this basically is one, two, and four. Is the answer a combination of one, two and four or is it b a combination of two three and four or is it c one two and three 
or is it D which is all of the above? This is another example of a style of question that will be used to try and test you and obviously it's just more about eliminating the incorrect one or could it be that all of these are correct and they're just trying to trip you up? So the correct answer is D, all the above. So you can see component testing, white box testing, module testing, program testing, these are all interchangeable terms um, associated with unit testing. So if you want a free exam question sample paper or even download the exact PDF which is um, supports includes the questions that have been covered today and a lot more um, or even additional mock papers then visit the website talentedtester.com thank you and hope to see you on the website